let's start off and wrap up with the five things that I think you're going to have challenges with. So, okay, Josh, I create a personal brand. I create a bunch of accounts on every social media platform. I just completely forget about, you know, it being cringe to post. I completely forget about wanting sales or leads within the first few months. All I'm doing is creating content for my specific type of customer that I want to attract. Um, Problem centric, not product focused. Okay, I get it. Uh, All right, that makes sense. Uh, What are the challenges? What's going to be difficult for me? What am I ahead of me? Am I going to have to prepare for? Number one, consistency. Consistently posting is one of the most difficult things to do. Um, I would know we post pretty much every day and we've been doing it for years now with VSC. Um, It is difficult. And, you know, eventually you can build a team around it, you know, um, and uh, get people that help you manage social media and content creation. But initially, it is just you, my friends. It is just you. No one else cares enough about you to help you. It is just you. Creating the content, filming it, posting it, scheduling it, all that fun stuff. Consistency is key. Consistently creating and posting content might sound easy, but it is not. Especially due to the long-term nature of building a brand, you'll very quickly not see the value of posting every day. You know, you might get hyped up for a week or two, but after two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you don't see any results. It's very similar to sales and business, isn't it? You're like, oh, why why should I keep doing this? My brain is telling me, uh, why am I still putting effort into this thing, but I'm not seeing any results? That's going to be a very natural reaction for majority of you. 99% of people will never be able to commit to something for more than one to two months without seeing results. This is 100% self-driven. If you're not used to building your own thing, it will be very, very challenging not having someone telling you what to do every single day. Consistency is the most important thing for your audience. Even if your video goes viral with 100 million views in the first day, if you just stop posting after that, you're done. And I've said this for a long time in my solar sales training, consistency is um, even better than truth. Consistency in our world is so closely tied to truth because very often people that are not telling the truth are not consistent. It's almost a given that if someone's lying to you, they can't, it is not possible for them to keep up that lie over a considerable amount of time, right? Consistency is the the closest thing to truth that we have. So if you see someone doing the same thing over and over again, you see this guy pop up on TikTok, YouTube videos, Facebook, and he's just talking about rate, rate increases, talking about this stuff day in, day out, weeks, months, years, and he's still saying the same thing. There is an aspect of respect, of trust, of consistency, of truth there, right? And that is very difficult to um, simulate without having that consistency. So consistency is going to be the number one challenge by far for a lot of people that aren't already doing something similar to this. Um, Number two, thinking outside the box. Yeah, I mean, this this really is just talking about it. if, if you don't see the, the potential behind this, if you think this is sort of just a pipe dream or maybe or, or it's cute, but it's not really going to work, still pay traffic. I, I want to challenge you. If you came into the solar industry and there was, you know, A, B, C and D lead gen methods that were available and you still only know of those lead gen methods, start asking yourself, why, why am I still only doing the things that I was taught when I came into the industry, Right. My mind always goes to, okay, so there's method one, two, three, and four. How long have people been doing that? So a few years now. Like when, when's the last time someone came up with something new? No, not for six years. Well, there's got to be opportunity there. That's where immediately where my mind goes. And this really feels like that. You know, I've been for the past year, few years, I've been asking myself, what is the, the next Legion strategy? I, I This has got to be it. This has got to be it. I, I don't see, I, I covered a few potential new ones uh, two weeks ago in my solar lead gen in 2024, but I think this is the big one. This has got to be the big one. No barrier to entry. Everything points to this. So if you are having like pushback, immediate like natural pushback when you hear something like this, I would challenge you, get outside the box because yeah, paid traffic obviously is going to be amazing. You can always still get results from door knocking and cold calling, but this, this seems like it's perfectly aligned with the way the the world is going right now. So I would definitely pay attention to this, no matter how silly it might seem to some of you. Number three, but I'm not good in front of a camera. No, I'm not, you know, man, it's going to be difficult to succeed in business, you know, let alone in the next decade or two uh, uh, compared to right now, if you're not willing to jump in front of a camera, make some content and be a personality, right? Um, Sales, it's all about trust, all about respect. 
you know, I guess you could create an AI avatar with an AI voiceover. I don't think it's going to do the same same thing, man. I think you got to get in front of the camera. And if you're not um, comfortable with that, get comfortable with it. I do think that those that are able to to get get past that barrier that they might have are going to be winning in the next uh, year or two, especially when it comes to making content. Someone hears your voice and follows you on TikTok for months and months and months, hears your voice, and then finally speaks to you or sees your face. I mean, the amount of trust that you gain is is amazing. Um, I've witnessed this firsthand with VSC, right? We have so much content. We have hundreds of hours. I think we must have <clears throat> I, uh, several hundred hours at least on YouTube alone, okay? And when people come to the team uh, or, or they do a call, you know, the general vibe is, yeah, man, like I've, I've been following you guys for five months. I've watched all your YouTube videos. You know, I've even already sold more deals because of the training that you have. I, I transitioned to remote solar sales because of you. I already know you do good stuff. Now I just want more, right? That is a mess. That's amazing organically. And the only way that's possible is because we've hustled our asses off giving free value, being consistent. So now if you take that on the homeowner side, they've been following you for forever, their bills are going up, one day their bill doubles, and immediately their mind goes to the guy that they follow on TikTok that's been saying for the past few weeks that their bills are gonna go up, boom. Oh, I, I remember him saying he does have some potential solutions, maybe I'll just go check him out. Let me send him a message. Oh, let me go to his website. Oh, interesting, let me fill in this application. Boom, you get on the phone with them. Hey, you know, yeah, I've been following you for like three, three and a half months. You know, you're really good stuff. Like, well, think that lead is hot, the hottest lead you could possibly imagine. So, it's worth it, is what I'm trying to get at here. Get past your comfort zone, man. Get in front of the camera. Le learn the, the 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 craft, and uh, you know, you jump outside of that comfort zone, man. If you've never been in front of a camera, make it happen. You've obviously never done it before. You're not going to be good at it. It's just like a brand new skill. You got to you gotta learn it. Don't be afraid. Um, right now, people are attracted to honesty and transparency. So getting your face, your own face, just being transparent. You don't have to have like a crazy, you know, uh, like the VSC HQ. You don't have, have to have golden solar panels on the wall or the green screens or all any of the studio stuff like we do. You don't have to do that. Grab your phone, record a uh, video of you on your balcony, you know, of you in the living room. Like people are responding positively to that because it's transparent, it's open, it's honest right now. That's what people are really yearning for right now. Um, and the first piece of content that you make will be uh, like the first cold call, the first door that you knock, the first ad that you set. They're going to be horrible. <laughs> but that's the whole point of this learning. It is a skill. You're not going to get results immediately. And you're going to figure this game out over time. And um, if I'm right about this, you start now, you're going to be a hell of a lot better than you are uh, in, in a year, a year and a half than you are now. And it's going to show um, and your, your production value and all of that is going to uh, is going to skyrocket and your confidence. Uh, number four, overcome short-term thinking. I've covered this a bunch. Don't look at the sales. Don't look at the leads. Forget about that. Six to 12 months, just pump out. Content, value, don't even think. Don't even try to sell customers. Don't even set up a funnel. Don't put the links. You know, Put a link in your bio if you want, but don't tell people to go to the link. Don't tell people you want to sell them something. Don't tell people you have a solution. Just post content. But Josh, what's the po point of posting content if you're not even selling? Dude, shut up. If you've never done this before, just shut up and listen to what I have to say. Put content out there. Having a catalog of content that people can binge watch and they just get straight value from you is extra one point in trust, extra one point in rapport, extra one point in uh, in respect and authority. And you keep throwing videos out in front of them. Now you're at 50 points. Now you're at 60 points. Now you're at 90 points. Okay, now they're begging you to please help them out with their problem. All those little bricks are what it takes to, to build your castle with them. Don't blow it by shoving a, a call to action, shoving a link or going, if you guys want me to help, click the, the link in the bio right now and I'll give you a free consultation. Don't blow it. That's how you blow it with somebody. If someone saw that video for the first time ever, they're, it's, it's gone, done. Game over, you're trying to sell them. Maybe if they knew you for, for months and months and months and they saw that one time that you did that, maybe it would work. But especially when you start out, no one will know you. Everyone's going to be new. You just have to add value. That's all you do, okay? Um, expect absolutely nothing in return. And because this will be so difficult to, uh, to overcome, that short-term thinking, uh, it could very uh, may well be the reason 
uh, that no one else is able to succeed at it except you. Uh, and that's, again, what excites me because this is going to be so challenging for so many people. Uh, long-term positive uh, value adds. And number five, yeah, pretty much same thing. Refrain from selling. It's funny because what are we always taught? Always be closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Uh, yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? It's a different method. It's different uh, philosophy on it. It is you're building a castle. You're It's not direct sales. It's not direct marketing. You are building a foundation. <clears throat> you're building a trust with dozens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of people over a long time term. You're not trying to close them straight off the bat. You're trying to go for, you know, a hundred leads a day in two years compared to getting maybe one lead a week right now by doing like a direct uh, call to action in your content. All right. Refrain from selling, especially in your first few months. Um, no CTAs, no links, no landing pages on the, on the, the, uh, the comments or telling people to go to your landing page. Customers can smell your intention from a mile away. You must be able to add free value to them if you want their trust. And having a basic link in your buyer description is fine. Um, but ha having a funnel built out, um, ooh, what did I say? Having a funnel built out, handle every early lead is fine, but don't make that your priority. And it's not really just for the customers to see, it's specifically so that in your head, you're not thinking this is about getting sales, this is about getting leads right now. In your head, you're thinking, okay, I'm building a kingdom, right? I'm building a, a foundation here. I'm, I'm making a catalog of content and I do not care about anything. Don't care about leads or sales at least for six to 12 months. I just want to build an audience, right? How do you build an audience? Free value, free value, free value. Okay. Bunch of tips there for people. Um, I do hope a few people have watched this and, you know, I've thought uh, at least, th you know, got you thinking. Um, at least thought about, um, you know, what the future holds and what it was, what's, what it's going to take to be a big player in that future, probably starting now. Um, maybe, you know, changed up your mind about social media. Cause I know there's still a ton of people out there that just don't want to post on social media. They think it's cringe. They think it's, you know, not something that, uh, uh that they're about, but I do, I do really feel strongly about this. And if you follow my track record on things that I think are, you know, up and coming strategies, I'm pretty spotless in this industry. This is, this feels like it, man. Um, one to two years, I reckon we will have people with dozens of thousands, tens of thousands of followers, homeowners that they're providing free value to probably people like solar goat, for example, that he's, he's the most humble guy you ever meet. Very, very quiet guy. He's not out there selling like crazy. He makes content and he helps people out. So it will probably be the people that are the quietest that just make content, interact with their 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 audience of homeowners, just doing you know insane numbers. And whether that means they're selling them themselves, maybe they're partnering with a company, maybe they're getting sponsorships for homeowners. Who knows what it looks like? But that is very close around the corner, and I think we need to start now. If you're interested in that, if you just if you want to trade elbow grease and time for money, uh, this would be an amazing way to do it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see what content creation and, and, uh, that organic lead gen machine, that organic lead gen funnel looks like in even just a year or two. Um, cause, uh, yeah, I, I would certainly like to snap my fingers right now and have a TikTok account with a million American homeowners following me intently on every word that I say. I, that asset, it's gotta be one of the most valuable assets in the solar industry that you could even possibly think of. Right. So good stuff. Um, hopefully I opened a few eyes, uh, maybe a few light bulb moments, inspired a few people. And, uh, you know, I'll probably be talking about this, you know, ongoing. Um, but uh, I'd love to see a few of you out there start rocking it. Uh, take some tips that I've talked about and uh, yeah, start uh, looking at this, this potentially new age uh, future method and strategy of lead gen. Okay. Beautiful.